The Antikythera mechanism is a complex and mysterious ancient artifact that has captivated researchers and historians for over a century. Discovered in 1901 on the island of Antikythera, Greece, the mechanism is a system of gears and inscriptions that was used for astronomical calculations and predicting eclipses. The technology of the mechanism is so advanced that it was not duplicated until the 14th century AD. The intricate design of the mechanism is composed of several fragments, each with its own unique function. The main fragment, known as Fragment A, contains the mechanism's main gear train and displays the solar and lunar calendars, as well as the cycles of the planets. The fragment contains at least 30 bronze gears, including a large gear with 223 teeth, which is the largest gear that has been discovered from the ancient world. Fragment B, also known as the Upper Back Dial, is a display of the zodiac, which is a band of the sky that includes the 12 constellations of the ecliptic. This shows their understanding and recognition of the zodiacal band and the importance it had in their daily lives. The fragment contains a complex gear train with at least seven gears, which are connected to pointers that indicate the position of the sun, moon, and five planets in the zodiac. It also contains inscriptions that provide instructions on how to use the mechanism, which suggests that it was intended for public use. Fragment C, also known as the lower back dial, is a display of the metonic and seros cycles, which are used to predict eclipses. The metonic cycle is a period of 19 years in which the phases of the moon repeat on the same days of the solar year, and the Seros cycle is a period of approximately 18 years and 11 days in which the relative positions of the sun, moon, and earth repeat. This fragment contains at least four gears, which are connected to pointers that indicate the times of the eclipses. The Seros cycle has a period of 6,585 days and the metonic cycle is equal to 235 lunar months, which is equal to 6,940 days. Fragment D, also known as the front dial, is a display of the solar system, including the sun, the moon, and the five known planets at the time, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. It also contains pointers that indicate the positions of these celestial bodies in the sky. The fragment contains at least five gears, which are connected to pointers that indicate the position of the celestial bodies in the sky. The pointers are also adjusted to account for the eccentricity of the orbit of each planet. Fragment E, also known as the right-hand dial, is a display of the lunar phases, which is the different appearance of the moon as seen from Earth due to the relative positions of the moon, Earth, and Sunday. This fragment contains at least three gears, which are connected to pointers that indicate the position of the moon in its orbit around Earth. The gears are also adjusted to account for the lunar anomaly, which is the deviation of the moon's orbit from a perfect ellipse. The operation of the Antikythera mechanism is a marvel of ancient engineering. The gears are arranged in a hierarchical system, with the main gear train at the center and the various displays connected to it through subsidiary gear trains. The mechanism is powered by a complex system of hand cranks, which rotate the gears and allow the user to make calculations and predictions. The gearing of the mechanism is also impressive as it demonstrates a deep understanding of gear ratios and the principles of mechanical transmission. The gears are made of bronze and are highly precise with teeth that are accurately cut and meshed together to ensure smooth operation. The gear ratios used in the mechanism are also carefully calculated to ensure that the pointers on the different displays move at the correct rate. The Antikythera mechanism also demonstrates a deep understanding of astronomy and mathematical principles. The inscriptions on the fragments provide detailed explanations of the different cycles and calculations that the mechanism can perform, including the cycles of the sun, moon, and planets, as well as eclipses. The mechanism also uses a complex system of epicyclic gears, which are used to model the elliptical orbits of celestial bodies. The question remains, how could ancient Greeks have built such an advanced mechanism? It is believed that the mechanism was built by an astronomer mechanic who would have been a member of the elite class of ancient Greek society and would have had access to the necessary resources and knowledge to construct such a device. It is also possible that the mechanism was built by a team of experts working together to create this masterpiece of ancient technology. 
It is important to note that the Antikythera mechanism is not an isolated discovery, but rather it is part of a larger tradition of ancient Greek technology. The mechanism is considered as the most complex device of its time. It is not only a device, but also a representation of the knowledge of the ancient Greek scientific and astronomical understanding. It is a testament to the high level of technology and engineering that existed in ancient Greece and the legacy that has been left behind. The intricate design, advanced gearing, and precise inscriptions all attest to the deep understanding of astronomical and mathematical principles that the ancient Greeks possessed. The mechanism is not only a technological wonder, but also a window into the knowledge and understanding of the ancient Greeks and the legacy they left behind.